All right, everybody, I'm going to pick up where I left off um, from part three. This is the start of part four of the 172 scale German flying saucer. And I wanted everybody to get another look at what I've done so far. Um, working on the control panels and the anti-gravity engine. I got it hooked up to my DC power supply and it's 11.9, might as well say 12 volts. And um, this area right in here, I'm going to probably clean up. Um, probably use some uh, epoxy scope and maybe I may make a rail. I'll have to uh, get my imagination working and see how I'm going to work that out. And then I'm going to start working on the saucer. So when I figure out what I'm going to do next, I'll go ahead and set up the camera and I'll talk with everybody later. All right, everybody, another update. Working on modifying over here. I don't know if you're gonna see it. A little bit with the light. Um, I'll point it out. There's a, there's a good shot of it. There's a door that they put into this model, but it don't show on the outside. That's why I came up with the hatch. And I have to uh, cover that up. Um, I do have it hooked back up to see what it looks like with uh, the walls set in place. There's a set of three of them that I got to glue together and primer and that's what I'll be working on today but I'm going to have to fix that, uh, that doorway. Maybe you can see it right there. Okay and I got it. Um, I'm using I already cut it out with my ruler, this little piece of styrene. I think it's, um, it's 0.5 millimeter. Measured it with my uh, L-shaped uh, ruler and um, got to cut it in half. But then I'll uh, glue those in place here um, before I go ahead and primer the um, inside the walls of the saucer so I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on another modification I have to do to this kit I'll continue working and I'll talk with everybody later alright everybody back on the Hannibal hopefully that everybody can hear me um, I'm gonna cut this uh, in half and these pieces just fit in like a glove they fit real nice these are the two pieces I have to modify. See here when it's together, you can see that little little doorway. Get it in the frame here. Well, right where my thumb is. So I'm going to cut this in half and then glue each piece separately to cover up that door. Go ahead and use this glue here. I've been trying this out and it's really good glue. It's, it's a little thicker than the extra thin, which I have right here. Gives you a little more play time.
snap. Pull this out, square that off. See how this fits. Square it off a little more. Get the general idea, cover up that door. So everything looks, looks good. A lot better.
see the results. Not too bad. Everybody can see that. There we go. Not too bad. So I'm going to pause the camera, keep working on this, and I'll talk with everybody later. All right, everybody, another update. I got the bottom masked off here, so I won't have a problem gluing it in place when I'm done primering and painting it. So I'm going to set up the spray booth. I got a primer the inside here and the other two parts. There's the other one here. There's some piping and little detail. You can see some piping right here. And then I got a uh, primer up the ramp and probably a few more parts I'll have to pull out of the box. So let me pause the camera, set up the spray booth and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I got everything set up in the spray booth. Um, this stuff is awesome. It's a clear primer. It's an adhesion promoter. When I camouflage anything or mask stuff off on my builds, I always use this. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, on a can, it says clear primer, improves paint adhesion and thumbs up. This stuff is awesome. Um, you can pick this up at your parts store. I'm going to use it on the on the ramp and then the uh, gun turrets right here if you can see. Get it in frame there. I've got four of them and then I'll let it set for about 15 minutes and then I'll hit it with some primer. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready here, hit those parts and uh, let those set for 15 minutes. So hang on, I'll let everybody uh, take a look at this stuff here. It's clear but works for me. Zoom in a little bit. Alright, the stuff dries pretty fast, but I'm going to give it about 15 minutes before I hit it with some primer. So I'm going to pause the camera, and I'll be right back. Alright everybody, back on the Hannibal, I'm getting ready to uh, hit it with some primer. Primer I use. 
and it has an adhesion too, so that's double the strength. It's good primer from Badger. Already have it in an airbrush ready to go.
see here. The camera's picking it up. Primer turned out really nice. I'll double check to see if I missed anywhere. So I'm going to pause the camera for now and I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another update. Um, off camera I hit the parts again with the primer. Not this, it turned out really good. As you can see here. These I had to touch up a little bit, but the primer turned out really nice. And the turrets I had to touch up a little bit. But they turned out really nice. So I'm going to let this sit overnight. I may do some more primer tomorrow um, and I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another update on the Hannibal. Um, yesterday I used the adhesion promoter and primer and um, everything turned out really good. I'm happy with the results. So I'm going to let this sit for a while before I hit it with some paint. These uh, turrets turned out really nice. So I'm going to repeat the process today. I'm going to get the upper saucer, lower saucer. Uh, I'm going to hit it with a adhesion promoter and primer it up. Um, right here is my camera rig that I use on my workbench and what I like about it is you can move it anywhere and I got it mounted on the side of my spray booth and I have it aiming down towards the inside of the spray booth to film my painting hopefully that will all work out and it will be in frame so I'm going to go ahead pause the camera set up everything for the upper and lower saucer and I'll be right back all right everybody I got the Hannibal in the spray booth you can see here I'm my lazy Susan I just got this ready to spray the adhesion promoter onto the top of the saucer so give me a second to put my mask on and I'll be right back all right if you can hear me I'm going to go ahead and hit hit it with some adhesion promoter
All right, I'll let that set for about 10, 15 minutes, and I'll hit it with some primer. I'll pause the camera for now, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, back on the saucer. I got the primer ready, uh, the paint on the saucer, so let's get started. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna let that dry. Uh, I'll double check it to make sure. Hopefully the, the camera picked that all up. So I'll pause the camera for now and I'll be right back. 
All right, everybody, another look at the primer, closer look. Do your lighting, pick it up. But um, I think it turned out really nice. With that adhesion promoter first, and then the primer. I like how it brings out all the rivets and the panel lines and the detail. It's looking good. Now I'm going to pause the camera and repeat the process for the bottom of the saucer and I'll be right back. Alright everybody, back on the handlebar. I got the bottom of the saucer ready to be uh, uh, primered with the adhesion promoter. So let's get started. Also going to hit the uh, ramp, going to hit that part with the adhesion promoter. that sit for 10 to 15 minutes I'll pause the camera and I'll be right back all right everybody it's been sitting about 10 to 15 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some primer I didn't get this on camera but I did hit it with them with the adhesion promoter with the ramp so I got the paint and the airbrush so let's get started
Plus I'm going to hit this with some primer on the inside. This is the ramp. Everything looks good. I'm going to let that dry and double check it off camera to see if I missed anything and I'll be right back. Alright everybody, uh, another look at the bottom saucer section of the German Flying Saucer. After hitting it with adhesion promoter and hitting it with a primer. Um, just like the top, it turned out really nice. I'm happy with the results. I'm going to let this sit. I probably won't hit, hit it with a base coat till next weekend. Um, this is March 3rd. Um, I'm going to check and see if I got anything else I might want to primer up. Um, here's the ramp. I got that done. It turned out nice. Now it's all primered, ready to go. And then I did the inside of the ramps and I also hit it on the outside because I'll probably hit the outside with black I'm gonna to have to modify it again I'm gonna to have to open it up here where my thumb is for lighting so the ramp will light up I got some 805 small LED tape I'll have to show that not too many people I've seen online use that um, but it's available at HDA model works and it'll be perfect for lighting this up this ramp so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera for now and I'll talk with everybody later all right everybody another update on the Hannibal one thing I overlooked when I used the adhesion promoter and the primer is I had those bay doors closed for the landing gear and forgot to hit them with primer and um, they didn't turn out too bad Look, that primer really does a good job. You can see here. And in the instructions it says use flat aluminum. If I mask this area off and hit it with the airbrush, it'll be much quicker, or I might just do it by hand. I've got to me and Model Masters acrylic paints. I know they're better through the airbrush, but this will be on the bottom of the ship several coats and I paint it in one direction it should look pretty good um, so I'm gonna pause the camera put the sh saucer together for what I've done so far and um, see how what it all looks like and I'll be right back all right everybody another update on the Hannibal got it all together temporarily on my workbench um, main saucer upper and lower primered this, these three parts right here as you can see I got to primer them up yet but I'm working on the inner walls I got those primered I got it all hooked up temporarily to some power too to turn that on here in a minute but um, everything's taking shape she's looking good let me go ahead and turn some power on kill some lights got it at 9 volts And uh, it looks pretty cool. It's taking shape. Let me get a shot back here. I know the lighting. There we go. Let me 
front control panel closed in it looks really cool the uh, engine it's a good shot well I'm gonna call this a wrap for part four I'd like to thank my YouTube subscribers I'd like to thank everybody for watching sub to my channel more to come I'll talk with everybody later.